Dearborn Hospital caught in a lawsuit after a patient is attacked in the ER lobby by another patient. I'm Glenda Lewis and for Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. The February attack at Beaumont Dearborn has the victim saying it never should have happened. 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel is live now. And how could the hospital have stopped this, Brian? Well, because they could have intervened earlier, according to this lawsuit, the victim lawyer saying that there were signs that were clearly there that the attacker was harassing others and it could have all been prevented. They hit her not once, not twice, but three times and maybe four. And the, my client is on the ground and she's like, what did I do? What did I do to deserve this? This is video from inside Beaumont and Dearborn Hospital on February 10th. The 19 year old college student in hijab walking in because she slipped on ice earlier and thought she may have a broken jaw. Her lawyer says what happened next will take much longer to heal from. At the moment, it was it was devastating. It was the blow that knocked her to the ground. The injury that she has is life changing. She's terrified. She'll probably never ever see life the way she did before this accident. She's afraid to go outdoors. She's afraid to go in public. She's always has to keep an eye on her surroundings now. The attacker, according to Dearborn Police, is this man, John DeLise, also a patient. He came for help. He wanted mental care. He didn't get it. He was released. Mugni says after he harassed other patients for cigarettes, the hospital called police and told DeLise to not bug anyone else while waiting for a ride. They knew he was a danger, yet instead of removing him, removing this danger, they allow him to stay and they allowed him literally to, to attack my clients. In a statement, Beaumont says in part, Beaumont security personnel responded immediately and took action to protect the patient and others in the emergency room. The security, we love the way they responded afterwards, but as they say, a pound, an ounce of prevention is worth a, a, a pound of cure. This could have been prevented. We wouldn't be here today. And Mooney says they aren't sure what triggered the attacker, but believe mental health issues could play a role. He was arrested, by the way, charged with misdemeanor assault, and he is awaiting sentencing after a competency exam. Reporting live in Dearborn, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. Brian, thank you.